Just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open man right side is sharp. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. But I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. ready to begin their drive and it's been a miserable start for them offensively obviously two drives two interceptions and this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him do you do it with a little bit of humor maybe you break the ice a little bit like hey didn't we practice in that color jersey all week not the one that you're throwing it to or maybe you have to be stern with it but whatever it's going to take to get the message it has to be done he's putting the game in jeopardy so after the incompletion on first now second and ten now go Oh my god, bro. I should just try to swat that down. Not really any offense for them to speak up here this first half. Maybe that's what they needed, that big play. Yeah, it seems that maybe that everything changes right there. They've been a little slow out of the game. We've seen that. But that one big play, that could spark a big burst right here. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Back to Montgomery on second down. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. Play action. It's gone. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Patterson's kick is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3 nothing lead. So they get the three points, but they've now had three trips into the red zone, and that's all they've come away with. And in the NFL, the way they measure red zone efficiency and success, because you score touchdowns on those drives. That's first and foremost. Getting points, that's the second measurement. So by that measure, they haven't done very well. They've got to figure that out. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. That throw by Young incomplete. This is a half of not just the cover. Yeah, it was. I just hit triangle and I was on R2. He took off. God damn it. Ugh. Seven. 
Nice run from Sanders to accomplish a couple of long-awaited firsts last season in Philadelphia. Finally broke 1,000 yards and had 11 touchdowns to help reach his first Pro Bowl. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3 nothing. our score. Ball on the 39, here's second down and seven. Young to throw it. And that is incomplete here. They've given him some different looks here defensively. And they're like going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up. They can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. To throw Young. He completes it to Julio Jones. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 45-yard line. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Young to throw it. Throw left side on target to feel it. So no gain on the play. And that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it at the wrong scrimmage. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. First down, Young. Oh, I couldn't throw it. I couldn't throw it the way I wanted to. situations just a little bit better that far behind the line he's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack whether it's with his legs or just throwing it oh away. shit i won't pay attention to the clock all we have to show for the first half a lone field goal three nothing our score as we'll send you down to orlando we check in with jonathan coachman for our ea sports halftime report coach in a game where one field goal is all these offenses could muster in the first two quarters, you figure both coaching staffs were needing to make plenty of adjustments. And for the call of the second half, we send it back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make yeah. some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. On second down, here's Gaul. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up third and one. 
That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Gibbs will try and pick it up. Oh, shit. Sets them back now for second down. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. God damn, bro. I hear action. That nigga got shoved up like he won't shit. Nigga mushed that nigga like he was nothing but paper, bro. <laughs> Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. 
And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same. Oh my, they couldn't get out of there! Here's another interception. And he will bring it back. Bro! is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't done it to scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here. And that one, it backfired in a big way. And he gets halfway there, down to the one. Yes, sir, bro. I threw it because I thought he was going to break out of that shit. He never did, man. So they'll get Damn. a shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is uh, Okay. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Now a throw here to his running back. The result only four yards there on the play. And now it's 33. Here is Young. And he's got first. He's tight in. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up the first Damn. Down. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The tackle for a loss goes to Kirby Joseph, making a great play. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. And we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thirteen yards remaining on second down. They'll go again with Sanders. Oh, I knew I was going to get stuck. I knew I was going to get stuck. That's why I tried to ever go to the left. watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Third and long for Young. Yep. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Jack Campbell with a pick. He may go. That's my fault. sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Ready? The Panthers. 
Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Flush to his right. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Why are you over here? I'll take you outside, man. What's wrong? Yeah. Hey, get you the pass mark. He didn't risk adding another you need a bad. It's Young on first down. That one complete. He finds Sharp. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. That is taken in by Hurst. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Meanwhile, the throw by Young was knocked away and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Young. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to get the football back at their own 17. Oh, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much. Because now, he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference. Meet it head on. And show your teammates... You're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. Hey, where is Toya here? What's going on? Get to the stats, but that's an idea carry there. On Good boy. Team, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if he picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right, if it's college football, you want to make second one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually hates the defense in that situation. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is made. What's the stop trying to pull? I'll be scared of what Kim says up. <laughs> and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described manhandling the defensive front they've got the leverage they are powering through and they're controlling this game they'll go to montgomery to try to wind some clock and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to check on myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. 
If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Montgomery on the counter. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They believe they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. He's got it to Williams. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Another nice game. 13 yards that time and another first down. We always knew the 2022 was going to be something of a write-off year for Williams, who was recovering from a torn ACL. But he did play some snaps late and tease Lions fans with his lone catch, a 41-yard touchdown. They believe, and so does he, that the show begins this season. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Goff going to throw it. His throw incomplete. They're still throwing the football here. And obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage to try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Golf. Ah, oh, my. streak as they add on to their lead. Trying to bust out of that losing funk and these fans have to like this and alright fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support but you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak and they really came together with a good week of practice. Patterson back out there to send this one away. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And able to get this out to the 25. Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the score. Oh, my God. Some type of momentum to carry into the film session. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the first game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while. But everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. He's going to let it fly. And this is dropped it incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. This time is run out on this ball game. Good game. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pitched a shutout. So it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way. But the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? The total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. 
So for Detroit, they move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to two and three. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they drop below 500 to two and three with a loss. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head 